you're in a restricted area on a correctional facility. This is a restricted area. You can't be back here. Behind I'm going to keep my hands visible for you because you look like you're ready black shorts, walk to do something real phone. stupid. Calm down, Thanks. Lieutenant. Step over to Let's de-escalate a little hands. bit. Step, place Let's de-escalate. What, what are you going to search me? Hood. I don't consent to searches put your or hands seizures. On the hood of the car. But for what? Put your hands on the hood of the car. Dude, I'm an independent journalist. My name is Sean. Okay, I'm here working on a story. Area until I figure out who you are. Right now, you're being detained. It's public property, and that's what I'm saying public is that I've been... Public property or, or government property? Well, public property is government property. It's the same thing. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the Pearl River County Correctional Facility here in the state of Mississippi. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's take a look around the facility here. The Pearl River County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff David Allison. So as you would expect for a correctional facility, there are lots and lots of friendly reminders that the government is always watching and recording us every time we are in public but it always seems to be an issue when we record them let's hope that's not the case here today reserved for sheriff dep chief deputy patrol commander chief investigator he's the only one that seems to be inside again we want to be on the lookout for any restricted area signs or no trespassing signs because our goal is to never break the law this is not our intention whatsoever. So we have a little sally port here. Our goal is to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right. That's why we say that every single time in the beginning of the video. It's important to remember that. So we have corrections transport vehicles over here. We have a trailer over here. Doesn't look like it's being currently used. Hey, how are you? Excuse me? Who are you with? Oh, I'm not with anybody. I'm by myself. What are you doing over here? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Lieutenant Smith, PR-19. This is a restricted area. You can't be back here. How is this a restricted area? There's a sign right there on that parking lot that says anything beyond that point's a restricted area. Can you show it to me? I didn't see it. Yeah. Come you show it to me. you have any ID on you? Well, let me see the sign first. Because there wasn't any you? signs. Right now you're in a restricted area. You There's no sign. Here. Yes, there is a sign. There is no sign. It's all on camera. There's Do no sign. Favor. Step over to this car for me. Step over to the car? Yes. Yeah, for what? The car. 19 Central. Am I being detained? Right now you are. For what purpose? What what law for what car. law what law did I break, Lieutenant? Step over to the car. What law did I break, Lieutenant? 19 Central. I'll be back behind. I'm gonna keep my hands visible for you because you look like you're ready. Black shorts. To do something real phone. stupid. So, Step what? Can you tell me what law? Can you articulate what law? You're in a restricted area on a correctional facility. That's not a breaking of law. This is not a restricted area, sir. Yes, you're trespassing. So there's no, no sign. You no. You have to Step know. Step over to the car. You have to know. Step Calm over to down. The car. Calm down, Lieutenant. Step over to the car. Calm down, Please. Lieutenant. Step over to Let's the car. Let's de-escalate a little bit. Step, place Let's de-escalate. What? Place what are you going to search me? Hood. Well, I don't know who you, you are. You can't search I me. I'm not I don't to consent. I don't consent to searches or seizures. Put your hands on the hood of the car. But for what? Put your hands on the hood of the car. I'm not a threat to you. I'm an independent journalist. My name is Sean. Okay. I'm here you're working in a on a story. Area until I figure out who you are. Right now, you're being detained. Right. Until you I figure out who you are. You're <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna put my you're Stop. gonna. I'm not doing anything. I'm trying to give you my other hand. So relax. I'm trying to give you my other hand because you're obviously scared of a man with a camera. I don't understand what's the no, big deal. you're not doing what I ask you to do, so you're being detained. What would you want me to do? I'm not breaking any laws. There is no sign. Go get me your supervisor, Lieutenant, please. This is ridiculous. Go get me your supervisor, please, Lieutenant. Do you have any form of state ID or driver's license? Sir, I don't consent to any searches or seizures. I haven't broken any laws. I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. I'm talking to you. I'm in handcuffs. Why are you still scared of me, grabbing onto me, shaking? Come Spread on. Spread your feet for me. I don't consent to searches or seizures, sir. Spread your feet for Why me. Why are you so scared for it? 
I don't have any weapons. That's obviously not a you weapon. You have an ID in your wallet? Don't grab anything in my wallet. I don't consent to any searches or seizures, please. I don't. You're doing. You're violating my constitutional central. rights right now. I'm 10 too. I've got one detained. There's no reason for you to be treating me this way. You guys don't learn de-escalation here in the sheriff's office? Look, I have no weapons. I'm not breaking any laws. This is not a restricted area. There is no signage. You have any form which, of state ID? This is unlawful right. detainment. You have well, me handcuffed. Let me ask you this. Which way did you come in? I came in right through the uh, right through that way. Okay, let's walk back and look. Yeah, can we? Can you not touch my phone? I'm just gonna bring it with us. Oh, okay. I'm well, not gonna turn it off. You good? Right. Cool. You good? Can, I'm gonna. Can, can we walk exactly where I came in? Yeah. Because I would never break the law. Okay. If I saw a restricted area sign, I would never do that. here for me. Watch your step. Read that sign for me. Alright, well I walked up to the park. I walked <laughs> I walked on the sidewalk. I walked on the sidewalk I, I would I would never pass a restricted area sign. Everything so, back everything back here is restricted. Well it wasn't intentional. I didn't see it. I walked uh, on the sidewalk. Come on, let's talk. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Gentlemen, he's got all day, okay? Yep. Okay. <laughs> you got your card? I need mine. Welcome, Yeah, I appreciate it now. <laughs> I wish we had that earlier. We could have hey, well, we can step right in there. Step in there. You're right, he's in the front? That's fine. Yeah, you put the front. Matter of fact, you can take him off if you want to. All right, good. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Couldn't be better. I wish I would have saw your sign. <laughs> I wish I would have saw it. It's more in the parking lot where people are driving. I wasn't. That's the thing. I'm not. I'm not driving. Uh, I'm on the it, sidewalk. It's, it's there. It's been there. We keep that there all the time. Are you supervisor, sir? I am. Uh, can I? What's your name? My name is Sean. My name is Rob Williams. Rob Williams. Yeah. My name is Sean, sir. Okay. I'm just an independent journalist. I'm working on a story here in the uh, at the, the correctional facility here, and yeah. I just I didn't see any restricted area signs. That's all. Okay. <laughs> that's really that's really it. Okay. And if you, I could even show you the video. You wouldn't see it on video either because I I walked right on the walk. sidewalk, yeah. and you you know wasn't even thinking about yeah. looking that way. So, yeah, but it, it is. Everything's back there restricted. 
And we don't mind you going back there. You can do what you want to, but just you got to have an escort. Yeah. Once, oh, once I would have passed that point. Yeah, yeah. I was just looking. I thought it was yeah. interesting because well, I, you know, I saw a bunch of. The issues is we've got the we've got a trusty dorm back there, and if people are allowed to walk around, they can sneak in contraband. And gotcha. I could understand that. No, I could I could understand that 100. percent There's again, that's not my intention. I was just I saw the vehicles back there, and I wanted to take some pictures of them. Ooh, there's um, not much back there. Yeah. No, I, I went all the way back there, and I was like, yeah, there's nothing else, and I was actually on my way back when. Uh, this lieutenant here uh, approached me, but yeah. So, sorry about that. I don't. I didn't mean to. Pol- I didn't mean to uh, go across the restricted area signs. I even say it while I'm while I'm documenting because I want to make sure that I'm not breaking any laws. I don't want to go into any restricted area signs. Um, again, the sidewalk. It was very misleading because I'm you know I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pedestrian, so I'm walking on the sidewalk. And there is, there's, there's the nothing there. There's <laughs> yeah. nothing there. It's only like if you're driving. So it would make it seem more like, you know, don't drive past this point, right? Yeah. Well, we've got, we're working on right now actually trying to get a fence put across. Yeah, that would, I mean, yeah. And that's our biggest thing is we get more, we have more problems with contraband. If yeah. people get around there and not be insecured and we, the trustees have access to walk back and forth. And if somebody like you was to walk by there or somebody else and just yeah. throw some contraband down. Yeah. As they walk through, they pick it up, and that's how it gets in the back. So, gotcha. We try to keep them separated as much as we can, just as to keep the, the safety measures for everybody here. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So, if, what go. else? If anything you need from me, I tell you, my name is Sean. Uh, I'm an independent journalist. I travel the country and just check in on different correctional facilities, law enforcement agencies, uh, government agencies, and uh, just work on stories for that, for those purposes, for government transparency and accountability. Okay. And again, uh, that was my purpose here. Okay. You understand the importance of, of being on law enforcement property. If you're confronted by law enforcement, if they request you to do something that isn't illegal, immoral, or, or in putting you in harm of physical injury or death, it's best to comply. Well, I would when only I, say when I when when I requested your identification to figure out who you are, who you with, what you're doing here. You continue to kind of go back and forth, and we kind of got stagnant there for a second. When we got to that point where you weren't following my lawful orders, when I asked you to place your hands on the hood until we can get some kind of controlled position and we can get things figured out, that's where things began to escalate. That's when we had to take a step up, and I had to do it, formally detain you in handcuffs because well, I didn't know. Who I would you just were. say, Lieutenant, <coughs> I didn't know what your intentions were on the property. See, is it understandable? Well, you didn't ask me for my intentions. You asked me for my identification, which I would argue my identification doesn't tell you my intentions. And that's what I, you know, and that I, I think asking for my identification as soon as coming in contact with me, I think that escalates the situation because you could have just said, hey, what are you doing here? Hi, how are you? What are you doing here? And I would have explained to you, just like explained to um, the supervisor here, exactly what I was doing here. And yes, you said I was in a restricted area. And now that I see that sign in the parking lot, not nowhere near where I could see it. But now that I saw the sign, I can understand why you said it was a restricted area. But at the same time, I don't know that it's a restricted area. You're a law enforcement officer. My job as a citizen is to stand up for my rights. So you're telling me you're giving me lawful orders. I don't know that you're giving me lawful orders. I don't hand over identification unless... What did I? When you asked me for identification, what, what did I say? I said, do you suspect me of committing a crime? Right? Because my job as an independent journalist and an activist for transparency and accountability in government is to stand up for those rights, the same rights that you took an oath to uphold. So there's been many, many times, sir, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately this is, this is it's, unfortunately. It's handled the wrong yes, way. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, there's been many times where I haven't been in a restricted area and law enforcement officers such as yourself think that I'm in a restricted area or think that I'm on government property no, and that's, the that's thing not public you, property. You can come through the front of our exactly. front of our facility, our lobby. But that's why you I just wanted to explain to the Lieutenant, that's why I responded the way I did is because yeah. it's it's not necessarily about you, it's just about in general. Normally people, hey, let me get your ID. And I, I never understood that because like, what is my ID going to tell you about what I'm doing here? Or what is that? How does that help you in any way in conduct an investigation? And I don't give up my ID because that would be a Fourth Amendment violation unless I'm suspected of committing a crime. Sorry. Oh. Unless I'm suspected of committing a crime. So that's why I'm saying, let's, I even told you, let's de-escalate a little bit. I, how am I in a restricted area? There's no signs. You know, I even told you, what did I tell you, Lieutenant? I said, hey, you said there is a sign. I said, okay, let's go walk over and look at it. And you said, no, put your hands on the hood. Like, we could have just walked over together and so I saw the sign. Let's, let, let's, if you, if you want to start speaking in hypotheticals, let's, let's go down that road. So, 
you don't identify yourself. You pull a gun, shoot me, and I have no way of relaying any of that information to my central dispatch or to my partners who were trying to figure out what was going on. You conduct yourself on the property however you see fit, whether it, it could be uh, something as simple as the trespassing, which I explained to you was which what was occur occurring, or something much, much worse, right? So that's why we tend to try and identify the party involved who we're dealing with so my people know who I'm talking to. I, I, From listen, there, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're not, treat, you're not trained to ask for ID in every scenario. I'm just saying if you look at the totality of the circumstances. You were in violation on, of, I, of going of trespassing me, in a restricted area. I, un, I understand that Therefore, that sign was I not where identified nowhere you to be as seen. a suspect and you had to be identified formally. But in order, just to be fair, if, you want, if we want to get technical with laws and statutes, criminal trespassing in Mississippi, I had to have known, I had to have been cognizant of the fact that I was trespassing in order to be breaking that statute. Once you relay to me to the fact that I was tr indeed trespassing, I informed you, let's go look at the sign. So that would mean that I was willing to leave. So I was in fact in violation of no statutes today. Because so I had to have seen the sign. Once, once, you, be went, obvious. once you traveled past this corner of the government building and continued on up the hill towards towards all that, would a reasonable person believe that that is a that is a public roadway or a, a public right of way to freely travel? Well, no, it's not a public right of way. But I would oh, I, what I assume okay. is that it's government property. It's public property, and that's why I'm saying public is that I've been or, pro, or or government property. Well, public property is government property. It's the same thing. Who owns you know? And this is why I didn't want to identify myself or but comply can with your orders. Can somebody be government property? Not unless they're breaking the law or if they're in a restricted area. And like I said, yeah. I had to, the statute's clear, sir. I had to have known, and I honestly didn't know. If you looked at the video footage, you wouldn't have seen that sign. Which statute you put it in the middle, are you referring to? The criminal trespassing statute of Mississippi. That it, what are you, for what the sign, there's, there's multiple. There's ones for signage. There's okay. ones for uh, verbal orders given uh, under have certain you circumstances. Read the statute of, called trespass of real estate property. Trespass of real estate property, no. Okay. Trespass of real estate property. Yep. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. This has been a while. Yeah, it's just I, I, you know, it's just it's 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 a product of, of what I do for a living. As far as you know, I work with law enforcement officers. I, I do. I I've done trainings at law enforcement officers uh, departments. Um, I'm looking to do another one. The I've been reached out to by a department in New Jersey. I'm from New York. I'm from Long Island. And it's a product of my job, unfortunately, is that normally I'm given a lot of unlawful orders and things get escalated and that's why yeah. I'm hesitant. And my job is to show people that, you know, unless you're breaking the law, you don't have to give over your identification. You don't have to put your hands behind your back. You can't be unlawfully detained. Yeah, see, this is remaining. See, I, I think I have it. Mississippi Title 97, crimes against property, trespass going on to or remaining in upon buildings, premises, lands forbidden. Of another after being forbid after being forbidden to do so. So yeah, I, I never saw that one about real estate property. I look up the laws everywhere I go. I'm very uh, familiar, and yeah, I didn't see I, that one. Yeah. Yeah. So again, that my again, it's not my again. At the same time, do I understand the lieutenant? His position is that he doesn't know if I saw the sign or not at the time. I understand his position that I I, I technically was. But I technically wasn't, I think, just honestly, Lieutenant, I think that there was a better way to handle it. Just let's go walk over. You know, how many people do you know that's going to want to do you harm while they're recording? You know, I, yeah, I'm not, another way you can look at it, too, if you go down and take this to court as a judge, and say that you walked in 10 feet of the sign, and we've actually got video of you walking all over the place, they were watching you walk. Yeah. So. Well, why wouldn't, <laughs> if you saw me, if you saw me walk past the sign, why would you get me really well, quick? they didn't come get, when I walked out here, they had just been notified that you were back there by the shop. Yeah. But there's, I mean, like I said, I could show you the well, video. Yeah, we've got, on top of that, we've got a lot of tools and stuff out there. Oh, I understand. But like I said, I could show you the video, and I, and I can guarantee you that the video doesn't show that sign. Because it's, it's in the middle of the road. It's in the middle of the road where cars pass. I'm not where I'm walking. Again, I, I don't think that, you know, it, it's, I didn't see it. So I, I, in my, my opinion, I didn't break the law. You know, and I, I was willing, once he told me, hey, this is a restricted area. There's a sign. I was like, well, show me where the sign is. I'm willing to leave the restricted area. If it is, that's not my goal. It's my intention. I, I never 
That's not what I, that's not what I'm, I set out to do. I'm here to bring law enforcement and the, and the public together, not not try and separate them. That's my goal, really. So, but that's where we are. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find this real quick. Hey, let me let me call, let me call you back. Let me call you back. So yeah, I don't want to take up any more of you guys' time. Am I am I still being detained at this point? As far as I'm concerned, I I say no. If you're good with it, as long as you're good with it, you know. Because I like, I just like want to go about my day and and stay to, out clarify, of areas. to clarify, the general public, those who are not law enforcement or law enforcement affiliated, can't go beyond the sign in that way without any, some kind of law enforcement escort. Can't go behind all okay, the fenced-in areas. Yeah, of course. Immediate access to the correctional facility itself. Yeah, of course, of course. Again, okay. like I said, Lieutenant, I didn't see the sign. I don't think it's that apparent and obvious to see it. You know, I, especially the way I walked, I don't think it's that apparent and obvious. Again, if I would have seen it, I would never would have passed it. But mm-hmm. that's it. Okay. All right. So, thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Get a card. Thank you so yep. much. I appreciate this. Thank you so much, okay. Major. Appreciate you. Lieutenant. Yep. Yeah. It's open. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to continue about my story. Take care. Have a good day. See, this is why I tell everyone. You have to make sure that you see this sign here. I totally miss this sign. I'm going to be really upset at myself if, how did I miss this sign? How? It doesn't make any sense. I got to go back on my, I saw this over here. I guess it's because I had my sunglasses on. Because there's no real, I don't see. Because I honestly, <laughs> if I would assume that I saw the sign too. If I was, you know, a judge deciding the case and I'm walking I walked this way. I showed you guys all the signs over here. I just didn't see it. I make it very clear in all my videos. We're not trying to trespass. We're going to any restricted areas. I'm going to have to rewind the clip on that. And I can't believe I didn't see it. See, you got to make, um, you got to be very vigilant. I say it in my video and obviously I wasn't very vigilant today, but I appreciate the major. His name is major Rob Williams. Here's his card right here. I appreciate the major for, you know, not escalating the situation, de-escalating it. Uh, the lieutenant, again, I think he came in and escalated the situation a little bit too much, honestly. I don't think it was uh, proper of him to, you know, detain me. You know, I was in a restricted area. I just didn't know it. So I technically didn't break the law. I had to have known it. So I, I would like to believe that I would have been found not guilty of breaking any laws and if you can't if you're not breaking any laws you know you can't be detained and that's my whole point my whole point is if i'm not breaking any laws you can't detain me he could have just walked back with me and showed me the sign over here and you know i would have left immediately as soon as he told me hey let's go look at the sign i offered hey if there is a sign show it to me i've been lied to so many times by law enforcement ladies and gentlemen that I can't believe them. I want to see it. And then, you know, he got scared thinking that I have a weapon or something. And obviously I didn't. And he wanted to detain me, put me in handcuffs. And, you know, I guess all's well that ends well. I wasn't arrested. And, you know, I don't think, I think he escalated. I think the lieutenant escalated the situation beyond where it needed to be. But again, I was in a restricted area. Obviously, that sign is right there. Uh, but, you know, I think it's a learning lesson on my part and their part because I have to be more vigilant for signage and I don't think that they should escalate the situation the way that they did not at all maybe they should put up fences you know make it more obvious that that is a restricted area I have no idea honestly so anyway all is well that ends well let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below this is a crazy one I've never had an audit go this way but as always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island on it. Peace.